Good afternoon. It's opening day of the 2011 season, the fourth season of Iron Pigs Baseball. Gets underway tonight at Coca-Cola Park against Scranton, 7.05. The skies will be overcast, but should stay dry. It will be chilly, so it's typical early spring baseball in the Northeast. Uh, it's an op- the Iron Pigs enter their fourth season with a lot of optimism, partly because of uh, their new manager, Brian Sandberg, who seems to have brought a new attitude into the clubhouse and spreading it through the players. Uh, it's a veteran team. Twenty of the 24 players on the roster have played in the major leagues. So obviously there is help if the Phillies need it up in Philadelphia, but unfortunately some of that young talent hasn't gotten here yet that's in the bottom, that's in, down in the bottom end of the system, of the Phillies system. Uh, except on the pitching staff where the bullpen is heavily homegrown. Guys like Scott Matheson, Michael Stutz, Michael Zagurski, Michael Schwimmer, uh, Vance Worley, tonight's starter, Drew Naylor, once he gets put on the, on the active list, he begins the season on the disabled list. Worley, uh, one of the top pitching prospects in the organization, probably the most major league ready of the Phillies prospects as far as the starter is concerned, gets the nod tonight. I think it's a special, I think it's, it's a message that, you know, how they feel about him. I think they are looking for big things from, from Worley this year. Uh, he'll go against David Phillips from the Yankees, who was 10-2 and two in the Yankee system last year, between AA and AAA. He's also one of the Yankees' top starting prospects. Uh, should be a good crowd tonight. They're expecting around 9,000. Uh, it'll be interesting to watch the attendance this year for the Iron Pigs. There's no uh, all-star game to lure people in. It is the fourth year. There have been three losing seasons. Uh, if they get off to a good start, maybe get some momentum going. I mean, the uh, Iron Pigs usually do draw well, no matter what the record. But uh, there is some growing dissatisfaction with with uh, the product on the field. I think that should change this year. This should this should be a competitive team. This should be a fun team to watch. It's, like I said, it's a veteran team, so you won't be looking at uh, the future stars of tomorrow. But it should be an entertaining team to watch. They seem to do a lot of good things the other night in the exhibition game against Reading and uh, got strong pitching, which I think the pitching is going to be what will carry them, at least in the early going, until the bats get going. But, uh, you know, with the pitching staff they have, they should be competitive throughout the year, barring any kind of major ch- major uh, changes in the roster. Uh, again, with the schedule, 50 of the first of their 72 games, I believe, they play at home before July 4th. That's not necessarily a recipe for success at the box office, but the Iron Pigs have shown that they do have an ability to draw fans no matter what time of the year it is, so it should be another good season at the box office. Uh, again, season gets underway tonight. Two games against Scranton tonight and tomorrow night, Thursday, Friday, 7.05 both nights, and then uh, Syracuse, I believe, comes in for four games. Again, morning call sports writer Jeff Schuler, Iron Pigs beat writer. Looking forward to another season of Iron Pigs baseball.